This video shows you some of the reports available in CHVAC. Click the File menu. Click Select Reports. Notice that the title of the window is Properties of Print Preview 1. That's because CHVAC lets you have multiple print preview windows open at the same time, which makes it easy to compare reports before and after you make changes in the project. The input reports can help you make sure that you've entered everything as you intended. But since they aren't very interesting to show in this video, let's not select any of them. Notice that many of the reports have R and Z options. The R reports show you the results from the program treating the rooms you've entered as individual spaces with their own peak times. The Z reports group rooms that have the same zone number together as one big space with that space having its own peak time. Under Load Summaries, check the Building R and Air Handler R checkboxes. Checking the box for Air Handler actually produces two reports, the Summary Loads report, which lists room loads and peak times, and the Air Handler Total Load Summary report, which shows the loads at the Air Handler level only. Now let's check a few more report checkboxes. We don't need zone details, room detailed loads at zone peak times, custom, a simple and editable sales proposal, or any of the Z reports, since those are only needed if you want the calculations to treat your rooms in the same zone as one big space, such as with a VAV system. But we'll check all the remaining reports in the other section. The pie charts can help you see which things are causing the highest loads for heating and cooling. Since our project has only one air handler and two rooms, the building pie chart report should be enough. The load profile graphs reports can help you see what the load is in each of your cooling months and for each hour of building operation. Check the boxes for net, sensible, and latent load profile graphs for the total building. The load profiles reports are like the load profile graph reports, but they simply list the load values without a graph. The load profile graphs are usually more helpful, so we can skip the load profile reports. Click the miscellaneous tab. The fonts and colors options let you change the fonts, the text colors, and header background colors. To change any item, you would simply click it. The title page picture input lets you choose a picture file on your system for your title page. The calculation ranges inputs let you select to only include certain rooms or certain air handlers in the results. These inputs are not commonly used. Page numbers prints the page number in the right hand side of the page header of each report page, except the title page. Date Stamp prints the date and time that the reports are generated as a footer at the bottom right corner of each page. Use Today's Date on Title Page, if checked, prints Today's Date on the Title Page. Otherwise, the date on the Title Page will be that which was entered on the Project tab of the General Project Data window. File Name Stamp adds the file name of the current project as a footer on the lower left of each report page. Include Room Notes on Detailed Room Report prints your notes on the Detailed Room Loads report for any rooms in which you have entered notes. New Page for each room on Room Detailed Loads prints the Room Detailed Loads report on a separate page for each room. Include Company Street Address in Page Header adds the company address from the license file to the third line on the left side of the page header before the company city, state, and zip. Starting page number sets the page number of the first page of the reports. Since it is possible to print various reports separately, this option allows you to join the reports by changing their starting page numbers so that they have consecutive page numbers. Normally, this entry is left at 1. 
Line spacing determines the amount of spacing between lines of the reports. The default value is 100. Use a number greater than 100 to increase the default spacing and a number smaller than 100 to decrease the default spacing. Create ASCII spreadsheet file for HVAC solution creates a comma delimited text file that you can import into the popular HVAC solution software. Click the preview button at the bottom of the window to create the file. The file contains virtually all of the calculated data for the current project. The format of this file is designed so that you can easily import data for the current project into a spreadsheet or database program as well. Enter the file name for the file in the box below this checkbox. You can click the drop down help button beside the file name input to browse for a different folder location. Thanks for watching.